This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Yeah, so they found a new planet with the Kepler thing. I don't know if you know this. They found like five billion planets in the last five to seven years in our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Milk and honey, baby. Give me some bread. Now give me some butter. Come on, sugar. Kepler finds an Earth-sized quote gas giant unquote. While we're learning about brand new planets to bust up science's old rickety theories, that is fascinating to me. I hope you agree. From the universe today, by Jason Major. Koi 314C was found transiting a red dwarf star only 200 light years away. It is a stone's throw by Kepler's standards, said Kipping. Why, that dude's talented. He's a science breaking planet finder. And he wrote the Jungle Book. It's jungle around here. Kipping used the technique called transit timing variations to study two of three exoplanets found orbiting Koi 314. This was the discovery announced earlier today during the 223rd meeting of the American Astronomical Society, or ASS. What is celestial physics? Always have to have sexual caramel undertones. This planet might have the same mass as Earth, but it is certainly not Earth-like. This chipper chappy cappy cap, Mr. Kipping, is of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. He's a CFA bros and the lead author of this discovery. It proves that there is no clear dividing line between rocky worlds like Earth and fluffier planets like water worlds or gas giants. I know I thought the first half hour of the movie Waterworld was okay, and then the rest, yeah, pretty much sucked. But I time machine digress and go backward. This is an artist's impression of Koi 314C, a gas covered planet with the same mass as Earth. Credit to C, Pull, I Am, and D, Aguila. Gas planets aren't always bloated, monstrous worlds the size of Jupiter or Saturn or larger. They can also be just barely bigger than Earth. Man, who's, who thinks of like Jupiter and Saturn as bloated, monstrous worlds? You know, like, that's pretty weird. Are you scared of planets other than Earth, Mr. Major? You know, um, I think they're awesome, super magical thingies that help keep our solar system in perfect rotation. And I like being on rotation. We need to talk, Mr. Major. Sounds like you have major issues. Were you attacked by Mercury when you were young or something? See? You dirty rat. I'm not a number. I'm a free planet. It's thought that Koi 314C may have originally been a mini Neptune gas planet and has since lost some of its atmosphere. Boiled off. I don't know if that sounds sexual or angry. She boiled me off. Okay, second thought just sounds gross. Not only is Koi 314C the lightest exoplanet to have both its mass and diameter measured, but it's also a testament to the success and sensitivity of the relatively new TTV method, which is particularly useful in multiple planet systems, where the tiniest gravitational wobbles reveal the presence and details of neighboring bodies. Man, I wish I could do that. Just do some tiny gravitational wobbles to reveal presence and details of beautiful neighboring lady bodies. We are bringing transit timing variations to maturity. Man, there's a word I have a hard time saying. He added during the closing remarks of his presentation at Ass 223, I said immaturely, it's actually recycling the way Neptune was discovered by watching Uranus's wobbles 150 years ago. <laughs> Uranus's wobbles. Yeah, dude, that's the name of my band. My new band shall be called Your Anus is Wobbles. But we don't fall down. I think it's a method you'll be hearing more about. The Your Anus Wobbles. But we don't fall down. I got a feeling we're going to find an Earth-like planet soon. I got a feeling we're going to find life soon on other planets. Or it's going to find us. Or maybe it's already here. Did you know Kepler's observation depth is 3,000 light years? I didn't know that either. And I don't know how, how they know they know that. Isn't time a human construct? So if you had like Neo working in the Kepler, maybe you could see like 300 million thousand Monica Bellucci's into the future. Light years. Man, he is awesome. A detective and a teacher, plus a robot. 
Hunting for XO moons. Kiss hug, darling. K O I Koi. 314C. Koi. Koi. 314C. 314, you see, was found transiting, which is like train spotting, for planets, I believe. A red dwarf star. Wait, I think they only call stars dwarfs if they're in solar systems other than ours. I don't know, I gotta double check it. I Google it, but I forgot how to spell it. Google's website name. I know that sounds weird, because this is a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you guys may have been distracted, but in the last five years, they've found about a billion planets in the Milky Way. And the Milky Way is our galaxy. And galaxies make up the universe. Along with that, and Fugazi dark matter. Or is it dark matter Fugazi? Kiss and hug, baby. Man, I'm feeling crazy. That's cool, okay? All right. Discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope, ironically, during a hunt for XO moons, XO, kiss and hug, baby. Give me a kiss. I'm talking to the planet. Come on, sugar. They're genderless. Koi, 314C. And let me tell you about Koi, 314B. They say it's dense and rocky. Four times the mass of Earth. And well, I say, how do you say what you say? Don't you only know that it is a pixel? We may be able to even detect the first Earth. 2.0 Earth mass forward slash Earth dash radius using this technique, said Kipping, the chipper kipper chappy. No, he's a real scientist and all. Jupiter, Jupiter, or Jupiter Earth, or Jupe. We may be able to even detect the first Earth. 2.0 Earth mass forward slash Earth dash radius using this technique. Said Kipping, the chipper kipper chappy. No, he's a real scientist and all. Jupiter, Jupiter, or Jupiter Earth, or he eyes you to the wall, and then to the window, and then to the wall is a stone's throw. 200 light years, or warp speed seven, a day and a half for Captain Kirk. This story is way too big and too awesome. To be continued. Thor style cliffhanger, y'all. God bless everybody. Have a great weekend.